Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some lip swatches of the Shanghai Suzy Lipsticks. I've been very interested in trying these for a while now and I haven't heard too much about them or seen many reviews. So I thought I would put this up for you guys. So I did buy these off Reach Boutique which is an Australian site which makes it a bit easier to get it to all you Aussies. I've been purchasing off their site for probably the entire year and it has been an amazing way of getting some really cool unique brands. I did purchase all these myself, they were not sent to me um, and I also have a discount code for you guys for the whole Rich Boutique site and that is just Jessica and I will link the site and my discount code down below. also have a buy three get one for free sale going at the moment and that's why I, I bought so many because I thought well, why not? You're going to get two for free. So first of all they come in these absolutely amazing cases. They're not just the typical lipstick, um, like bullet lipstick shape. I'm kind of a bit over all the lipsticks having those exact same cases and these ones I think are very unique and I really like them. They've got the colour at the end and they've got the name at the other end and they pull open and you've got this really unique looking at shaped lipstick and then you just wind them up like usual. I don't know why but I'm really really impressed with the packaging. I think it's really unique and modern. I think more companies need to start experimenting with lipstick packages because I think they're all starting to look a bit the same. And then on the front I've got Shanghai Suzy written in this silver large font which I really like. So I think I did essentially try and buy mostly matte shades because I am a matte girl for life. First one is called Miss Leah Baby Cocoa and the formula is Nourish. Haven't heard of that formula before. Guessing it's just a more moisturising lipstick. A really nice deep nude. I am totally obsessed with deep nudes at the moment because as you all know there's the Kylie Jenner phase which is kind of over at the moment but I'm still kind of there. And I'm still totally obsessed with darker nudes and browns and oh. They look so good. First impression of this one is it is definitely more of a moisturising lipstick. It doesn't seem to be too opaque. So it'd be more for like a natural lip where you don't want anything too intense. You just want to add a little bit of colour to your lips. The second one is called a Miss Olivia Apricot and the formula is nourished as well. So this must be another moisturising one. I really like this colour. I think it's really fantastic for summer. It's more of like a... Well, apricot like the name says. I think that I think the name pretty much explains this colour to a T. It is like an apricot, not too opaque as well, just a little bit moisturising. Definitely both are very creamy so they're not going to dry your lips out at all. Next one is called Miss Courtney Electric Flamingo. Absolutely love that name. <laughs> Electric Flamingo is like the most vibrant Barbie pink you can get. Oh my god, I just got a whiff of this. It smells so good. Oh, it smells like lollies, it's like sour grape. Mm, that's my favourite flavour in the world, sour grape. Oh, this one's formula is matte, which I'm so excited about. These ones are definitely 100% more pigmented than the other two. Okay, so I'm just going to compare it to Candy Yummy Yum so you can see what I mean. Um, the one by Shanghai Suzy is definitely more of a Barbie pink. That's Candy Yum Yum, and this one is the Shanghai Suzy, so it's more vibrant. Um, probably better for those people with paler skin because I feel like if you're tanned it's going to come off as a little bit too vibrant. The next shade is called Miss Brie Pink Blush and it's also in a matte shade. I'm really excited about this one. I think it's going to be my colour. I think this colour is absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to be wearing this heaps. It is super pigmented. It's like the perfect summer pink. It's kind of a little bit of a coral pink. The next shade is called Miss Christina and it is called Neon Guava and it is also a matte shade. This one is pretty cool. Oh my god, that is such a nice colour. I think that's going to be perfect as another summer shade. By the way, just to let you guys know, these matte shades are not too much to the point where they're drying. They're actually still a little bit creamy, which is really good. Look at this. Okay, moving on to the darker shades, I got Miss Mia Foxy Hibiscus, which is another matte. From the packaging, it looks like a really true classic red, um, but we'll see how it goes on. So when it's on, it looks a little bit more of like a pinky red, which you can't go wrong with in summer. I feel like this is another perfect summer shade, as in summer, sometimes you don't want to go for the full red. You want to have a little bit of a pink undertone. So I really, really like that one. And then last but not least, I'm really excited about this one. It is called Miss Alley. And I can never say this word. Amethyst? I don't know. And this final one is also matte. And it's the most cool deep purple. Okay, so that's that one there. And I am so impressed with it. I do not have a shade like it. 
It is really unique and oh, I really, really like it. And it is not transferring onto my finger, which is a super good sign. I really like the shades. I think it has quite a wide range. You've got your nudes, your pinks, corals, reds, purples. It's, you know, you've got absolutely everything you could ever want. If you are interested in kind of starting out your lipstick collection, you know, it'd be a good idea to start with these ones because they're cheap and they have like the entire colour range. And they're super cute and they smell like grape sherbet. But all in all, I'm super impressed with these so far and as I wear them um, throughout the next few weeks, I'll definitely update you on how they wear and if they transfer. So I hope you guys did enjoy this swatch video of the Shanghai Suzy lipsticks. Remember, I'll leave the discount code and Rouge Boutique site down below if you are interested in having a look or purchasing. I did buy these for myself for Christmas, so if you've got a girlfriend that loves lipsticks, then I would highly recommend getting these ones. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great Christmas holidays and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!